Hey everybody, it's uh, Justin with Autosave, and today you're joining me while I try out the new Skyrim mod called Enderall. Now, it, it's, it is still relatively new. Uh, this is, I'm playing the English translation. It seems that there's a couple of, uh, a couple of issues. Uh, some text still reads in German, which is not that big of a deal, obviously. Uh, certainly nothing that'll uh, detract from the game at all. Um, I, uh, I play Skyrim a lot. So it should be noted that I did have uh, a bunch of mods installed, and I thought instead of uh, <laughs> instead of making a clean install, uh, I'd just disable all of my mods through the uh, the Nexus Mod Manager and see if anything uh, lingered. So there are some things that may uh, not be in the actual game. For example, uh, the UI might be enhanced. I, I'm not sure, honestly. I haven't really checked up that many videos of people doing this stuff on the internet. So, uh, I mean, it's a better UI, so I guess ultimately my video will look better. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, today we're going to start a new character. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start up the game. All right. Um, so, Enderall uh, is uh, like a, re a reworking of Skyrim, right? So, there's going to be a lot of talking, uh, no doubt. Uh, I'm probably going to have to s skip a lot of the dialogue, but uh, it's a brand new land. Uh, brand new voicing, uh, uh, actual voice actors, I should say. Not everybody sounds like a Swede. Um, <laughs> and here we are. A, a brand new world with brand new areas to explore. With new lore and barely any dragons, supposedly. I have to talk with Daddy. He wants to tell me something important. Alright, so let's start it off on a slightly creepy way. Why am I standing in the carriage? Pick up these. Okay, so bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. Oh my god. Completed a nice day in summer. Wonderful way to start off the story. Shh, hey, quiet, damn it. You want to wake up the entire ship or what? Mm, ship. What? Oh, sorry. Serious? That was a bit harsh. I, this isn't Gary Oldman. Me. Your mother was a fugitive as well, wasn't she? Where exactly did she come from? Oh, You've told no. me a hundred times, but uh, I just keep on forgetting it. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. Oh, I have to create a character. Alright, everybody. <sighs> Get ready for some speed up time. Okay, I think I'm done. All right. Uh, R, A, close. <laughs> Push close to open. All right. Uh, oh God, no, the name. Eine Minute, 37 Sekunden später. Okay, I think I figured one out. Nope. Eh, idea. It's simple. It's sweet. Great. Oh, all right. Eterna. Right. She was one of the last of her kind to leave Maya Awanath, wasn't she? Ironic. Seems some no, I've completely forgotten what you talked about. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I suck at this game so bad. Uh, oh, wait, can I? Eh, no, oh, this person is busy. Fuck off. It's busy. Me kicking this old guy's. Oh, damn. Fucking hell, holy shit, man. Place. This is the way it has to be. The way it oh. has been for eons. What is that I supposed to mean? Sorry. sorry for what? Oh. What the? Uh oh. No. What are you doing? Please? Uh, don't wait, leave. why is she just, leaving? To... All right. And that's the end of Enderall. Oh, no, wait, no, no, it's not. My bad. I know your kind. You are cutthroats. Filchers. At least have the guts to admit it. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for your explanations. 
If there's uh -oh. one thing I hate more than cowards, it's people trying to pluck my heartstrings. You two are scum. And there's only one kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up, Ruger. I can't do that. Do it. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry, lad. You should have stayed in Nerim. Uh -oh. But... You, you can't do this. Oh, believe me, I can. <laughs> no, I... But... What? <laughs> oh, well, what? Look at that. What just Someone's happened? Up. What did... Did she, like... Tie her what? Her comrade. Talent learned. Meditation. Oh sweet. Okay, so instead of instead of uh, dragon shouts, we're gonna leave the world and between choosing to pound with P and then pressing mouse four. Uh, instead of dragon shouts, we have uh, talents in this game. That's interesting. That's a good way of doing it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Can I leave? I can't. Invisible walls. Invisible walls. Do I have any experience points? Or oh sweet, I do have. All right. Well, I'm. Uh, much as I love Skyrim and everything, and I like the rogue path and the mage path, I, I feel like it's always the easiest to go with the warrior path, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. Do I have more than one point? Nope. Yeah, I'm only just one. Okay. Uh, right. So, I'm going to go to P, and then... What the fuck is Tempest? Oh, okay. Uh, and you... Bam! Uh, instead of just hitting tab... Uh, where you would normally have your skills and your and your level up stuff up here, you now have to teleport to a different dimension, I assume, uh, and select it manually, which is pretty cool. I, I'm I'm down for that. It's uh, it's a good change, I think. But you can still access your magic like normal. And uh, can I go back? Can I go back? Okay. Uh, and check out what? Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Whoops. Let's, uh, without further ado, just uh, head into the game a little bit. We're gonna like do this intro thing, and then I'll cut it short, and we can go off to the next, um, uh, to the next video or something. Ooh. Search skeleton. Is there any other pieces of the skeleton around here? No. No, just a hand. All right, let's see what's. This oh, he's got a knife. Fucking a, awesome. <laughs> Actually, gonna need that. Bam. Ha. Uh, so I just got a couple of potions, uh, and I think actually yeah here. So this is a new a new um, a new feature I guess. Uh, health potions can be rancid, so um, they will do less. Uh, sorry, they will heal you less than a normal health potion will. But more importantly, potions and magic will now give you uh, an arcane fever. This is a brand new mechanic uh, for for Enderall, and I think it is fantastic. It, it lets you. I'm not. I'm not usually huge on um, on survival aspects for things. There's a little rat thing over here, uh, but I just thought it was it was a fantastic idea to. Uh, oh, <laughs> at least grab the crap out of me. Uh, so Arcane Fever literally um, makes you have no other choice but to constantly keep an eye on what it is that you're doing um, it, with your with your magic and stuff obviously so you can it, you can you can set like a skill uh, sorry a, mag, a magic skill a healing spell or something uh, but whether you like it or not it will increase your arcane fever as you go so uh, I don't have it I, I don't believe I have it anyway. Yeah, I don't yet. Uh, so there's there's a healing hands, for example, right? Uh, the the self healing spell. If you do that, I think it increases your arcane fever by like point sixteen percent per second. So once you get to a certain point, I'm not entirely sure what happens. The, there's there's story involving the arcane fever. Um, but as far as I've been able to tell, I've been, well, I should say, I've been like uh, keeping it under wraps, I guess. So I haven't really seen the effects of what happens when you have too much of it. From what I have seen, uh, this this mod has much better uh, design for dungeons than Skyrim does. But obviously, uh, this has been in the making for a long time, uh, and they had the option to build ah, uh, they had the option to build upon 
what uh, what Bethesda did with Skyrim, so they were obviously able to make better choices. I'm sorry. Uh, so right, these crystals here, these are uh, these are magical crystals, and the cl the more time you spend next to them, the more your arcane fever will uh, will increase. As you can see, my arcane fever has just risen to six percent. Take some of this stuff. Spell boom. Spell to the grounding. Damn it! I wish I had a torch. It's so dark. I, I'm really sorry for you guys uh, having to see this the way that it is. Um, there's a good chance that I'm going to skim through a lot of this just because of that. But, um, I mean, it it is moody as fuck, and I like that, honestly. Per personally, playing it myself in a dark room looks fucking wonderful. Uh, it might not seem really apparent as it is, but you have to interact with these gears and this valve to lift this. So, we're going to go ahead and interact with that one, interact with that one, and turn this valve. I'm just going to grab that, and boom. Actually, uh, boom, I believe is the uh yeah here we go so uh nope magic okay so boon i'll equip to my left hand and i will heal myself with it but like i said i'm gonna keep doing it and see what happens oh, yeah. not raising yet nothing man alone yeah, whatever it's fine i'll be fine here we are Outdoors. I, I really love this. Uh, this this mod makes me think of the Witcher in, in the color palette that's used in this. and so much better than, this, than Vanilla Skyrim. I'm so happy that these people decided to make it a much more green, uh, colorful thing. So you got all this grass and shit, you know. I want to go ahead and harvest this pumpkin. we got to find five pumpkins, of which there are right here on this, uh, on this little cliff thing here. I do kind of want to collect those mushrooms, but at the same time, I don't really care. So, I'm just going to go ahead and ignore it. Uh, heals health instantly. Moon carrot. That's cool. Oh, my God. And you can just... Oh, this plant sap has already been exhausted. Okay. So, I mean, well, that's cool. That's still something, I guess. Uh, all right. So, in true Skyrim fashion, you know, we can mountain goat the fuck down here if we really wanted to. Which... Uh, should I? Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'm going to mountain goat a little bit. Instead of, uh, the, the alternative uh, is going into this little tower, climbing out through the bottom, coming out through down there. Uh, I believe we might find some stuff over here. Uh, there's a door here. No, I don't have a key. Curses! Oh, you think I can make that jump? Oh, fuck yeah, I can. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, oh man, I didn't even take any damage. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm never gonna keep me down. I'm the best. I'm the best. Ooh, what detected me? Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Alright, let's see what the fuck these little things are for here. Uh, okay, that does nothing. The, oh, well, I guess. Is it? Is it? But what? Oh wait, do I have to? No. Oh hey, a mana fungi. Awesome. Uh, all right. Well, fucking balls to it then. Okay. Right, let's mountain goat a little bit more. Over here to Finn. Now would you look Hi, at that? Finn. I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. Right, what brings you the shit here that day? I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, what? Oh, no. Okay, let's go talk to these guys again. Talk. Hmm? By the righteous pot. Fever. Well, um, <laughs> there could be many. Right. So now we're go ahead and sit down in this chair. Well, uh, hey, you know what? Even blurry, my character looks pretty fever, good. Yes. I'm actually really proud of this. I made an elf look good. Remember, yeah, I'm trying to sit down. To... Whatever. Thank you. Get the fuck down. Get down! I guess I'm gonna have no choice but to. Why is he playing a fucking. Alright. 
Okay, I'm stuck here. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here. In that case, I'll uh, I'll give it another shot uh, the next time I play this. Oh, these guys are really stuck here. He's fucking playing his loot away in there. Whatever. Okay. Anyway, I'll pause that just in case he does actually come back up. Uh, so everybody, thank you very much for joining me uh, playing through Enderall. I will almost certainly not complete this this. Uh, I almost said I almost called it an expansion. This mod. Uh, because uh, there are uh, between 30 to 100 hours worth of things to do in this. So I'm probably going to play it fairly leisurely and uh, come back to you guys with this save uh, after, I, I don't know, a little bit of time. Not not too long, but anyway, I digress. Uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, uh, give us some feedback if you can, and if you do comment on this video, the first person to comment will receive a free Steam key because I have spent too much money on video games and have too many to give away because I constantly have doubles of what I already own. Uh, so, you know, share this video with people that you like if you did like it uh, and so on and so forth. Anyway, I'll see you next time or you'll probably see something with Petro next time, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, keep it on autosave for all of your gaming entertainment stuff or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. See you guys next time. Bye! And she reaches toward it, and, and then all of a sudden, time is just rewinding, and she finds herself back in her photography class just at the moment that she woke up.